The global climate is changing, and people everywhere are feeling the heat, and the increasing storms, and the rising floodwaters. These disastrous climate change impacts are especially severe for those living in developing countries. But our homes and our buildings can provide refuge from climate disasters. In fact, investing in well-designed, resilient buildings is one of the best ways of adapting to climate change. It can save, quite literally, trillions of dollars worth of damages. Let's look at some examples. Rising temperatures are leading to more heat waves and droughts, which impacts the soil and can damage foundations and building materials. Extended periods of heat also increase the likelihood of fire, posing a risk to people and their homes. To adapt, we can position buildings to capture the winds. Outer walls can be strategically built to channel cooling breezes indoors. Crucially, nature offers additional solutions. Plants can be grown around a building to provide shade, reducing indoor temperatures and making interior spaces more comfortable. Specific species, such as tall palms, are often an excellent choice, blocking the sun while allowing welcome breezes to pass through. Climate change is whipping up more intense storms, including cyclones and hurricanes, wreaking havoc on coastal communities. Buildings can be modified from the ground up into more wind-resistant shapes. Roofs can be redesigned with multiple slopes that perform better under wind forces. Connections between the walls and the roof can be reinforced with better, more secure attachments. Again, nature can provide solutions. Coastal ecosystems such as mangrove forests reduce wind speeds. They also limit coastal flooding caused by storm surges as they can absorb the energy of the waves. Climate change is leading to unpredictable rainfall patterns in many parts of the world, resulting in floods that destroy homes. Since the start of the century, floods have affected more than two billion people. Again, we must rethink from the ground up. Homes in floodplains can be elevated on stilts, allowing floodwaters to pass underneath. Building materials must be properly chosen and matched to the site conditions, which will help the home stay drier. Nature can help too, especially if we restore floodplain ecosystems, which protect communities by acting like a sponge that retains water and absorbs it into the ground. The specific solutions to heat waves, storms and floods must fit local conditions, but the key step toward resilience are the same. Here's the blueprint. First, buildings should be erected on a strong foundation of laws, government policies and building codes wherever possible. Second, those buildings must be structured with knowledge that combines the wisdom of local communities with the latest data from scientists. And third, we must incorporate solutions from the natural world in building climate-resistant communities. When grey building solutions are combined with green natural solutions, resilient communities emerge, poised to meet new challenges ahead.